Good morning, everyone. This is a very exciting day because it is the third annual DJ Shadow garage sale in Los Angeles. He comes in person, gives a bunch of his really awesome records that he has duplicates of or rare promos from early in his career, test pressings, out of print records, and he puts them in a little shop in Rap Cats, which is a pop-up shop in Highland Park. People like me and other record fans can go and dig, meet him, get stuff signed. It is an awesome time. I'm really excited to go. So last year I went on day one because it's a two-day event. This year I'm going day two. Apparently every day is a new stock. Uh, I'm putting that to the test today. Let's see how early I get there. Let's see what I find. Get ready. It's going to be good. So apparently uh, I'm walking up right now. This is where the line was last year. I'm about an hour and 45 minutes before they open. And I'm walking up, and what's strange is that there's no one here in line. Here it is, the DJ Shadow Rap Cats storage sale. Uh, limited seven inch, all this good stuff. I expected there to be a line. No one's here yet. I am officially the first in line. That means I'm the biggest DJ Shadow fan in the world. Uh, but uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna be sitting here and waiting for uh, them to open, and then I'm gonna get some records. All right, so it's getting closer we're about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Met, met, met some cool people in line. Uh, we're, all ex, we're all excited. He was here this yesterday. Guy's number one. Number one in line. So I'm gonna get almost, almost everything, hopefully. Who does number two work for? Who does number two work for? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we got a little bit of a, a line situation going on. But uh, got the new job is shirt, so you know I'm gonna be lucky. For good luck. For good luck. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, hopefully we all get what we want. What'd you get? Anything good? Uh oh. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a good place for the 45s to be. I'm ambushing you with the camera, and all of a sudden, dude. But you, you got you got a lot of stuff you wanted. I got a few comments, man. I didn't win like one. Oh, you mean the test press? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, as you should. I'd rather see you win. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Have a good one, dude. I am back from the storage sale. It was amazing. This was such a great haul, third year in a row. Everything I'm about to show you was $15 or less. So a lot of these were $10, a lot of them were 15, uh, maybe one or two fives in there. But everything that I got that was DJ Shadow related, he signed for me and he was totally cool about it. There's a lot of them. Again, he is the man. So as a big DJ Shadow fan, ugh, it was just such a great day. Got a picture with him again. That's the third year in a row. Here's the picture we took. All right, let's jump into it. Let me show you my haul. First up, and possibly the coolest bit of the haul, it's a private press tour press, number six from 2002. So I asked him about this. There weren't that many of these in the stacks, only $15 for a test press. This is something he just made to like mess around with on tour uh, when he was touring for private press. And I, I, he signed it. This is just amazing. I mean, finding this, I was first in line as you guys saw. This is in the bin and I grabbed it, obviously. Um, and people were like, did you grab that test press? And I was like, I did. Uh, so I'm really excited about this. Having any DJ Shadow test press at all is just rad. This one's really rad too. This is, I guess, a vocal mix and an instrumental mix by DJ Shadow of DJ Crush Miso. Uh, that's one of my favorite albums by the legendary DJ Crush. I talked to Shadow about it. I didn't know they toured together back in the day, which is really cool. Uh, but Miso is my favorite DJ Crush album, and I had no idea that Shadow even worked on any remixes for any tracks on it, so had to pick up this 12-inch. Selections. This has You Can't Go Home Again, Disavowed, and Treach Battle Beat, uh, all by DJ Shadow. Really cool art on this sleeve, and of course, signed by the man. 
so this is cool. This is a white label, I believe, from the Introducing box set. He believed when I asked him that this was the Clams Casino remix of one of his tracks. I can't remember the track name, but Clams Casino is, again, one of my favorite producers, and Shadow had nothing but amazing things to say about Clams Casino. He was just telling me how amazing the guy is, and I told him that they should do a collaboration album, and he said, I don't know what I could add to his music, and I was like, you are selling yourself short because you are a genius and he's a genius, so maybe that will happen one day. Really awesome sleeve on this guy. Look at that shiny foil. This is the Mountain Has Fallen EP, stuff that came out after his latest album, The Mountain Will Fall. This features a Systematic. This is Systematic featuring Nas. Horror Show featuring Danny Brown, Good News, and Corridors featuring Stephen Price. So, really nice jacket. Some bonus material if you didn't get enough from the Mountain Sessions. Uh, I like how this is a kind of gold and this is a silver. And of course, with that silver Sharpie, completes the aesthetic of this quite nicely. This is uh, another single with a die cut right here that was from um, the recent album. I believe it was on tour. Um, and this is a pretty rare, I believe, out of print record if I remember correctly. It's Berg, Bergschrund and Ubu, uh, which is really cool. And I think this is goes from some pretty pretty high prices on Discogs. I think he found a restock of it not long ago, but I think that might be gone again. And yeah, signed by the man, how can you fight it? Didn't even know this existed, but this is rad. So this is live in Manchester from the Mountain Has Fallen tour. My signature. And yeah, really nice gatefold. This is only 15 bucks at the event. Um, it is a recording of the performance of October 5th, 2017 featuring a bunch of stuff from introducing till now. Just, I guess, a really nice selection of music that I think he mixed together. Um, so I'm seeing different song titles over here that are kind of, uh, you know, mixing two different songs into one. Really excited to hear this, uh, especially because it has a lot of his older stuff in there. Like, I see Stem and Sideshow and Donor. So I'm excited about those. Not entirely sure what this is, but it's a DJ Shadow remix project, so I purchased it. Uh, it's a limited promo 12-inch. Uh, a little bit of creasing on the sleeve, but that's okay because it's signed, so who cares? A1 is Building Steam with a Grain of Salt Knit Grit Remix. And side two is Stem, one of my favorite Shadow songs, uh, Blank Image Mix, and Walkie Talkie. Earn Monkey, Earn Monkey, Beatdown Mix. I don't know any of these, but anything DJ Shadow does is amazing, so I'm willing to take a chance on it. The fact that it was related to him, he signed it, had to buy it. I've got a handful of seven inches as well. First off, this was the limited seven inch that they had at the Rap Cats event only this weekend. It is systematic from the EP that I showed you before, the track he did with Nas. Really cool, gave me a little signature on there. And it was, I think, limited to 250 copies just for the event, so pretty awesome. Then something I didn't know existed, uh, if you guys remember the song Handlebars by Flowbots, apparently there is a DJ Shadow remix and the album version on here. So cool little gatefold seven inch. Uh, Gave me the old John Hancock. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to hear the Shadow remix. I, I know that song pretty well, but I've never heard any remix of it. So that is an awesome seven inch that I just happened to stumble upon in the bin. And last but not least, I picked up two records from Shadow's personal collection. Now first year, if you guys watched the video I did the first time I went, I picked up Rolling Stone's Beggar's Banquet, which is awesome because A, it's the best Stones album in my opinion, and B, it's one of Shadow's copies. He picked that up in some collection or a store or a thrift or whatever he did. It was in excellent condition and he purchased it and then I guess he had two or three copies of it and decided to get rid of one or two of them. Anyway, I have his copy of Beggar's Banquet, which is rad. It makes the album even more awesome. And I picked up two records I've been meaning to get, both for 15 bucks, which is really good prices for both, and they were in Shadow's collection, so they're that much more special to me. Shade, Diamond Life. This is an album that I've been wanting to pick up for a while. Shade's voice is incredible. Uh, just the most easy listening, beautiful R&B. And this is a great album, one of her best, and I don't own it. So getting Shadow's copy of it, not bad. And last but not least, arguably the best Prince album, maybe tied for top three, is Sign of the Times. And I have not found a clean copy of this disc and sleeve until today. And for 15 bucks, that is a very good deal. So if you haven't seen the movie of Sign of the Times, it's awesome. But uh, this, uh, this is just a really solid album that I think is underrated in Prince's catalog. No one talks about it like they do some of his bigger name ones. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy to finally have this, especially from DJ Shadow. So thank you, Shadow. Thank you for hosting this sale. We had an amazing time. I got some great grabs. It pays to be first in line. Thank you for taking the time to sign all of my stuff. I love that I have a huge collection of signed DJ Shadow stuff. It makes me feel really awesome as a record collector. And uh, I hope there'll be a fourth one moving forward. You never know. I, I know you have more stock to give away. If you guys are in LA, definitely check it out next year. I'm sure it'll happen. If you're not, it is worth traveling for, especially just to meet the man, the myth, the legend himself, DJ Shadow. 
you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to too many records make sure the notification bell is turned on so you don't miss any videos i put out put out new videos every week if not more than that we'll see you soon